this question. Right. Um, it's really up to you guys, right? It's like we want to make an awesome mode. We're not saying you know we. We're not saying we specifically want to one up or not one up one of our other modes, you know, classic League of Legends on Summoner's Rift and Twisted Tree Line. Um, but we want to bring you guys the best experience we can. Just in, you know, in isolated chunks, whenever we release, you know, a big new feature, a new map, a new mode, things like that, we want to be, okay, let's make this the best we can. And if you guys decide that it's better than anything we've ever done, then you'll do that. If it's, if it's not, uh, you know, if Summoner's Rift is just the perfect experience for League of Legends and Summoner's Rift becomes, you know, and stays the big thing, it's really up to you guys. Um, I think we've made a really phenomenal, uh, phenomenal game here. And, and I think, honestly, I think they can both coexist because, you know, the, the gameplay experience is actually very different. Um, you know, mm -hmm. Dominion is much more tactical. It's minute-to-minute -minute decisions. Um, Summoner's Rift has, generally speaking, on an, on an individual level, um, slower pace, like, large scopes, large scope thinking because, you know, any turret you kill stays dead. Um, any amount of farm you get really stays with you because the ambient gold is lower. Whereas with, with Dominion, you know, your grand strategy matters, of course. Your general gameplay matters. Um, but because things keep changing back and forth, you know, you're going to be back in those same small scale, you know, smaller scale situations. Um, and, and it's going to be sort of what mood you're in and what you're up to. Um, you can sort of, uh, you know, play Dominion really casually and actually do quite well and not have to think about last hitting constantly or exactly when is that gank happening because, you know, not, well, not last hitting minions is pretty forgiving, dying is pretty forgiving. Um, and, you know, you, you don't really have permanent disadvantages in Dominion, mm -hmm. so you can play it really casually. But also you have constant action and constant things going on, so it can make for a really great eSport. It just kind of depends on what you guys want to do. Yeah, yeah, really. And we've talked about some new items in the game, but there are people that want to know if items have been left in the game. Are we going to see snowball items on Dominion? No, we actually have removed a few of the different items. So okay. elixirs of agility, fortitude, and brilliance are gone. Because okay. um, otherwise, really, all people do is just chain by them because they're right. really gold efficient, and yeah, they're yeah, gold yeah. efficient like at a 4 to 1 rate. So basically, you just have them for half a Dominion, and you've equalized. Um, Snowball items because of the number of kills, again, you know, and not trying to have this like, oh, I took over the game because I'm dominant. Snowball items are gone. You can still take, you know, still get ahead. You've seen some of those games from Sam specifically, um, or like that quadra kill mastery that happened twice. You can take over a game and carry, but you don't do it by just mathematically being so far ahead that you can't die. That doesn't happen. You can certainly get ahead in gold, you can get ahead in levels by winning and kills and things, but you don't, you know, have this like checkmated my builds better than yours, game's done. Um, people are within 10, 10 to 15 percent gold from each other, so it's it's always going to be close. You can always have these battles count, and so it's yep. your individual skill, not how the first five minutes went, that determines your your emphasis. Right on. I think well, if we have time for one more, I'd definitely yeah. I can discuss this because we're going to see it as five minutes hits in the game. People would like to know, explain a little bit more about the quest system and how that is an advantage to a team to grab. Okay, so the quest system, um, the first one spawns at five minutes, and it it basically there's a logic system that tells you. Um, you know, th there's a logic system for, for which points will be the quests, but one of your points will be a quest, and one of the enemy points will be a quest. Apparently, Remington is my enemy. Um, good to know. Yeah, grr. Um, and it'll be, okay, well, you know, my point is windmill, his point is, this is, is my right, so it's going to be mirrored for you, is uh, the, shoot, no, the refinery's up here. The other one, it, wow. Drill. Drill, thank you. I knew it. So, his drill, my, my, my windmill, my drill. And, and they're going to be the ones that yes. are the quests. And if I can capture the drill before he captures the windmill, I win the quest. And the yes. quest ends. You, you, you pass or fail, you don't like both win, it's pass or fail. Right. Um, and it'll stay up until it ends, you don't like time out the quest. And now the capture, if I capture his point, not just nullify, but fully capture, I deal 20 free damage to his nexus. Hurts. Um, hurts. Painful. And everyone on my Painful. team gets a plus 10% damage buff for uh, enough time to really sort of keep moving down the map. Doesn't suck. Doesn't suck. No. And of course, you control the capture point. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? Awesome stuff. Bam. But uh, uh, speaking of community interaction with all your questions and whatnot, we did ask you guys that what we're doing is men versus women, guys versus girls, dudes versus chicks, whatever euphemism you want for people <laughs> with a Y chromosome and people without. That's what we got going on. So we do have female riders versus male riders, female champions versus male champions. And you know, Blue's been up 5-0 on the day. Yeah. Who's been up 5-0 in the day? So you a lot guys, of the team in this composition actually pretty much stayed. Like they haven't changed the composition too much. So <laughs> it's true. Three of them kept seated. So we'll have yeah. Pretty this, convenient. This, this whole first three have stayed seated, yep. and the two of the guys have moved over. So we'll have to see how some of the people that actually design the champions as well as try and play them <laughs> will do against the ones that you know support the game and the design of it. Great. And uh, so uh, let's figure out if the players are ready. If we're uh, going to do anything like that, or if we're going to introduce them all. 
Uh, not sure what our plans are, but we're For definitely sure. about ready to go. I do. So, uh, Riv, do you want to introduce all of our awesome players? Let's do it. On the blue team, for the ladies, we're going to start off with Jessica Namcat. Nam. She is uh, assist associate producer. Assistant producer? Associate. Sure. Okay. Awesome. We're going to change your title every time, Jess. <laughs> and uh, she also worked <laughs> awesome on Dominion producer. as well. Awesome producer. The AP. Uh, she also worked Dirty on Dominion power? as well, so big ups to her as well. As we move on, we have Leslie, a.k.a. O'Pelly Dinger. Uh, she <laughs> likes to play Heimer, as, uh, but we're going to see her as somebody else. Who are you playing this game? Uh, Aurelia. Aurelia. So we're going to have an Aurelia. That's her female champion on the player support team. As we move on for more player support, we have Holly Watson, usually the Amumu, but she's going to be throwing something different at us this time. Holly, helping you fix your game problems and make sure you're in the game correctly all the time. Very nice job and helping out. And moving on, we have Faye Mata Adestrea. She is also in player support, and we are going to see her playing for the ladies' team. Hopefully, Wait, really? Right? Yes, she's on the ladies' team, I believe. Oh. And also, play, was, so there. So as I'm the sorry. player support, the player support line grows. We stop that chain, and we go to Turin Davis. She is on the content release team, making sure everything was released in proper order at 110 percent. If it's not, make more threads about her. And as we move, <laughs> we move over to the gentleman's side. We are going to see. Cake or death, we have Colt Hallam. He is going to be the first one. Cake then, it is cake. We have cake for Colt, and he will be the starter, uh, one of the starters of the five that we have for your men's team here, and he will be a champion designer as well. He created a lot of champions in the game. Shakes, Fliss, Sip, Fist, Vladimir. And, um, Question, will he also be on the Men of Riot calendar? Ooh. In, D in, the, in, in, in K-9 NASA's uniform. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, that we have Alan sense. from IT. Alan helping us to set up this awesome, awesome setup we have here going for you, the Dominion stream and whatnot, keeping it running all day long and helping us with, with our computers as we click on funny links throughout the day. <laughs> Moving on, we have Andrew from Game Design. Andrew making games as sweet as they can be with a little bit of help from the design. There's a lot of them here at Riot Games, and they all work together to bring you such things as Dominion. So huge ups to Andrew and big thanks to him. Moving on, we have Mark, a producer on Dominion. Him and his team working feverishly over these past few months to bring you a very polished and updated, absolutely free new update to play for League of Legends. Awesome. And it's going to be absolutely amazing. So huge ups to the Dominion team and big hand there. And to finalize it, we have a QA member, Clifton. He is going to be on the male team as well. If you haven't noticed, we have five males and five females. Clifton doing the champion QA, making sure they're not too overpowered when they come out or making them overpowered so he can play them in the first week and then <laughs> troll all the wow. community. But we will see what these two have to bring it out as we have a battle of the sexes going on here. Ladies versus the men. Freak, it's going to be a fantastic game because yes. they have to also use female champions to male champions. Are, are we, are we going to have to be biased about this though because we don't have a male and female commentator? No, we don't. Should, should I just speak in a high pitched voice because I'm on their side? You're not already? What? Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm getting trolled by Rivington. That's Zing. not fair. I'm upset now. <laughs> so we are back into the game. We believe Holly trolled everybody and hit the lead button. So we're going to tack a point on her for that one. And uh, here face. we are to ch choose our champions. We will see them as they all lock in. And um, it's going to be a great matchup. Last game of Dominion as we are streaming it for Cole you here. Cole posing as Ezreal. <laughs> do the dance. Do it. Do it. You. Get on camera. Do the dance. Come on. <laughs> Get up there in the middle of the room and start dancing, Cole. I don't know if you can dance. <laughs> You don't know the dance of your own champion that you made? I knew that it goes like this. <laughs> Adorable. Unfortunate. Adorable. Okay. The screenshot will be on the floor. <laughs> yes. Oh, good, good, good. I always, that's one of the, my favorite things about commentating, by the way, is people take screenshots and make image macros oh, out of them. It's so weird. There's a, there's a bunch from, from Xenon um, called, like, I'm worried about Shushay. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious. He's like, I hope he brought his lunch. It's like, I'm worried about Shushay. I hope he brought his lunchbox today. <laughs> I'm worried about Shushay. He looks cold. I should warm him. Like it's just, oh, it's, it, so it's slightly creepy, but it's, it's pretty good. I'm a fan. Um, and there's always, the, you know, the, the Team 01, so that's always good. Um, but we are in on this. People are picking, actually, their main champions for the most part. Yeah, so I, we're saw, gonna get, I, was, I was seeing that. We're going to get the lineup. So um, for the female team, apparently my side, I'm going to root for you guys. Or gals, sorry. i got to get that one right, <laughs> the generic term. Uh, Neandali playing Nidalee. Feymata playing Katarina Sona by Namcat Rainbows. Aurelia by L. Sullivan. And H. Watson on Ash. That's yes. a first. All right, the, as the gentleman's team, Ezreal, played by Ezreal. <laughs> we got Gragas, uh, is going to be played by, I believe that is Alan, and Tarek moving down the line. We have an Andrew, I hope that is, because your names both start with A, 
Kismet on brand, and we also have Renekton on Mark. So we're going to have to see. Renekton on Mark. Mark on Renekton. Nice. Well, Renekton is sitting in the chair. Mark will be on the map summoned by the, uh, the summoners. <laughs> nice. The champion Mark is actually quite powerful. As a yeah. producer role, he can use his admin mod. Ooh. Yeah. That sounds empowered. Uh, overpowered. <laughs> Slapped um, off a capture point. Wow. That seems empowered. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on. Um, not like, anyway. So, uh, anyway, blue team, yes. So, female team, I'm gonna root for you guys. I'm gonna be just uh, unabashedly biased here. Um, so, FYI, I'm just preparing you for it. There's going to be um, some chance, and I'm gonna get the crowd into it, and uh, yeah, my team's gonna win. The ladies? Yeah. My guys are gonna win. No, they're not. No way. Wow. Girl, girls rule, boys drool. It was, yeah. it was said. That is yeah. your content Look at that. Look at release. That. It's right here. Bam! Look at this chat box. Girls, girls rule. Boys drool. I mean, you, you got any comebacks, bro? Um, that, it's I don't, I don't come back. Then my guys know what to say, and if they don't say anything, that means they're gonna win. That how does that work? We're out trash talking you. We're automatically winning. Do you, you don't even have a response. Like you're just sitting there, like mesmerized by the. My response is going drooling. to be the response is gonna be the win. You're <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Good joke. You're not, you're not, you should probably not quit your day job. Your comedian efforts are not very strong. Um, but Ash, with uh, movement speed boots and a rejuvenation bead, going to be pushing down uh, awesome stuff at the bottom left. Going to take over the quarry and, uh, yep, going to mirror that capture from Ezreal. Uh, and we're actually, uh, by the way, winning by one, so get rolled, kid. Uh, my team is awesome. We're winning by one point. Here comes the combat at the top of the map. And the forum's rooting for the ladies. I'm surprised so much. Um, Gragas pushing if towards the front, but it's going to be a 3v4. Brands making it late to the party, and Renekton dive bombing into that team. Going to take a lot of damage. Wow. Nice AoE from the dude's team, though. But there we go. First Blood still winning this game. Um, and looks like uh, the trade has happened as Tarek picks up a kill onto Aurelia. They're trying to run. Looks like the dude's team pushing pretty hard right now. Picked up one, uh, an, or rather another kill. And they are getting should, shoved back. You should start over and let your team know that they have to capture the points and not run away from them. <laughs> It's okay. It, we're, we're, so you remember how those last few games were like, oh, Purple Team's winning by like 150, and then like they got dominated by five zeros, so that'll, that's, that's what's going to happen. Great Don't job, uh, Ezreal Bottom. For some reason, stopping his channel, though, and moving over to the other side just didn't Lack like that skill. spot. Wanted to warm up another one. Lack of and skill. Uh, looks like he's going to capture that point for his team. A four to one cap, no more than three minutes into the game from the dudes. Rocking it out. Very nice job here. Looks like Holly Watson going to fight down on Colt as he comes down bottom. Colt using the character that he created, able to get the kill. One for one there as Aurelia coming in, getting seared up by Brand. Looks like the Pillar of Fire may come out, but he already used it, bursting down his mana. Did not have the time on the cooldown to get that one out again. The four to one still beating down, and we'll have to see if the ladies can really come back on this one. A very nice job by the guys. They have a lot of characters that can do ranged attacks. Brag is throwing barrel rolls out. Looked hard to just absolutely shut down a capture right away. And there it is. On to Sona, the belly slam of Gragas, and it's going to be a quick barrel down. Sona falls, and it's just left Bay as Katarina back onto that refinery. And it is a refinery, but it is not farm you more points because you guys are going to have to buck up here. Yeah, we got to get down to the map and capture some points. Yo, from Brand, it's going to only hit one target. Good juke there. Uh, let's try to get out of the way. Nope, it will still go down. Brand picking up that kill, keeping that point alive. And uh, looks like we're going to keep moving on right here. Still 1-4 to four Ash defending this point, but now getting assaulted by a lot of dudes right now. Trying to keep that alive. Going back onto that point, trying to stop Gragas. Trying to get the attack off, but being stunned in a row. But neutralized as well. Looks like this might be a very short 5 cap uh, right away in this game. They're taking this one over. It is, in fact, 5 right now. And poor Sona trying to defend against Bran, but Bran's staying pretty alive. The minion's actually doing a lot of damage as well, and their health is dropping rather quickly. They are doing poorly, but there's the back cap. Katarina's going to take one, needily trying to nullify the other, but to get there in time. We have Ezreal walking by. He's uh, shooting over the wall. Will get that kill. Nice pick up there. That point still red. And here we go. Katarina spinning to win. We'll pick up one. We'll try to pick up another one, and that will be a double kill. Uh, Irelia picking up a drop as well, and there we go. And there's another point being picked All up. Right, so you guys this do one. some damage. Yeah, we're probably going to win this. Oh, I've we'll see about that. While. It's still three to two. It looks like the green, or the green team, the blue team will capture Greenlee at the bottom left there. Sullivan and Watson on Ash and Aurelia grabbing those up, and it looks like a, a bit of a fight here at top. No, they're just going to contest it, and they are going to be able to get that as Ezreal does have the greater relic from the middle of the map. That's going to give him a bit of a shield as well as you see him sparking up there a little bit of lightning damage on his next attack. Uh, it looks like Ash, Sona, and another. It's going to be Nam. so there's uh, Nidalee actually sitting in there, swinging her tail around as they capture it. Never noticed that about her animation. And uh, it looks like 3-2. to two. They have the default points you would for a 3-2 to two capture on either side. That windmill, and then your two respective. 470 to 311. It, it, this is not golf. The lower score is not the better one. 
It's okay, we're still gonna get this one. Okay, yeah. quests are off. We it. will see. Okay, yeah, quests are off. That's gonna be our, our quest, basically. And that's gonna start to come back, really. You know, we're, we're leaving it close. Okay. okay. Because, you know, the most fun games are the climactic, like, out of nowhere victories. That's when people get the most excited. And so, you know, it would just look really embarrassing if we just stomped you guys that hard. So, uh, you know, letting them be close for a while, okay. you know, we'll make the comeback a little bit later. But uh, we'll, we'll see how this one goes. Ash Fine, that's fine. <laughs> Damage awesome. 60. Awesome. We'll see. Cat, a lot of damage. Yep. Doing a lot to Gragas, and he's not going to be able to come back from this one. Cash is able to, so, so much mobility to quickly shun Poe back on, you know, dodge a belly slam, uh, a body slam rather, or the uh, the barrel coming out, or in this case, Gragas Esquire throwing out his beautiful drink. And uh, we have a stop capture here. It's going to be thwarted by uh, Sona taking back the refinery. Now, you guys have three. You're going to start ticking down a little bit. Uh, more than a 200 point difference, however, this is still anybody's game as we are only six minutes into the match. And I think that was one of the fastest captures of quests we had today. So, just thought I'd mention that on uh, your team. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to move on forward now. Going to have to immediately try to stop the Renekton. Renekton actually been stopped by Ash. We'll just juke that Javelin by pure luck, not skill at all. And uh, immediately going in for some more damage. Uh, there we go. Whiffs a W. Nice shot there, uh, Brand. Way to, way to not hit my team at all. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and capture one. So we're going to be up 3-2. to two. By the way, kind of controlling more points to you guys. Oh, that was a good alt, Sona. Great job from your team. I, I didn't even see it. Doesn't even matter. It didn't happen. <laughs> didn't happen. Uh, I didn't see it. Doesn't count. Yeah, so man. here we go, we got a 3v3 situation down bottom, Ezreal trying to just do stuff uh, from the inner side of the town, in the, in the shadows here, trying to Mystic Shot out, ironic, right, a Mystic Shot from the shadow. As uh, we have Tarek coming around from the right side, shifting over, it didn't seem too OP, but Colt created it, so it's okay, we can do that. <laughs> we are going to have a Dazzle on to Sona, the Shatter from Tarek, and it looks like Sona will be able to get away here as the focus is on the point, she goes down from the Ez ulti, Ezreal coming up with a triple kill, very nice job there, I think that's called a spree. It is, actually. <laughs> Congratulations. In fact, it even said it for you. You can read. Mm -hmm. Good job, Rin. Mm -hmm. Good job. You did learn English one time. Yes, I did. Um, good job. Good job. <laughs> so, uh, Ezreal making a stylish recall back to the base. Brand has neutralized that point and is going to keep moving on down. We're really going to push the top. And, you know, really down, what, 200 points? going to get to no problem. And, and the funny part is, is it's actually still a game at 200 points. Oh, yeah. That's the whole thing about Dominion. There's no hopeless moments, right? Only heroic. Yes. Thank you for that catchphrase. Such a good quote. Whoever said it. Uh, I know Travis did. Full of bear. Anyway, so Ezreal moving up towards the top of the map, and oh, Katarina gonna stay alive, gonna defend this uh, windmill. It's a good point to hold. That's all right. They can win with that. And here comes the damage. I've been doing a lot to this brand. Brand getting a little bit low, still taking a lot of pain to the face, and they will pick up that one. Now Tarek is in the mix. They gotta make sure they don't die to him plus the turret. Of course, you guys do need a turret to win the fight. So you can't win by yourself, so that's fine. That's probably going for the capture point if you need the assistance. Um, and just throwing out the damage now, Terry going to take some pain. He's beast it. And yeah, he's going to flash away. Still very, very afraid of like basically mass support. Um, you know, not good enough to win those fights, I guess. And there we go, Needly still throwing out the damage output. Ash throwing out some hits as well. One more hit to go, and that will be a pickup. And they're going to start capturing this guy, uh, oh. giving up the windmill. That's going to be fine. We're going to get this one down at the bottom. And uh, it's time to go for some aggression pretty soon, I think. Indeed, it looks like they will recap that, neutralizing the points. A huge lead right now by the purple team. And a domination as well on these points. Looks like Gragas is going to go ahead and head down bottom. He did see Nidalee making a move, and he will try to thwart that. No, he turns around, gets a speed shrine, and then makes a move for it. Very nicely done there, knowing his surroundings. Knowing if you have a speed shrine around you or a health relic is definitely going to save your life on Dominion. And those little nuances are a must-know once you get onto the map. For the first time you play it, get your hands on some new items and new champions. Make sure you know everything about the map before you play it. It's just like playing against a champion. The more you know about that champion, the better you are to uh, go against him. And even playing as as well. Exactly. So there we go. Uh, Ezreal getting chased out. Oh, uh, face taking a couple of shots to the face, though. Got to be careful with that one. More damage output coming out from Ezreal. Nice play there. Picking up that kill, but capturing the top middle. The windmill is going to be ours. 151 to 412. Now it's going to be towards our favor pretty soon, and that will be a nice little thing to pick up. Ezreal picking up that kill on Sona. Nice play there. Uh, but, you know, uh, it's not really about kills, man. It's about capturing points. Maybe we have more of those. Maybe you should play the map right. I don't know about that. It's all about points, and we see that it's 402 to 149. The fight in the middle. Gragas goes down. Great job by Faye and Leslie as they come in here with Katarina and uh, Irelia. A good stun there. Kat's able to just go on with the uh, the alts, and there it is, taking down Bloodstone. Tarek does fall quite quickly up top. The girls moving quite quickly here as they go around the map in numbers.
grabbing some points up for themselves, but it's always uh, contested by one capture from the guys' team. It is girls versus guys. If you're just joining us here on Dominion, one of our last matches for the day, and we have to say thanks for joining us all week. We hope you enjoyed the matches. And we have this last final climactic match to go down here as Brand falls. It looks like they will be able to recast with a query. That's going to help them out a little bit, finally give them that upper hand. And hopefully they can hold this for a long time. It's really going to be all about the defense now, since you know we're kind of putting hurt on them. That's okay though, because now you know we're going to build the advantage back. We've got okay. three to two. We're getting a bunch of kills in a row. We've got map control. The greater relics ours. Uh, I don't think this Gragas is going to do much of anything. He's look, he's being all defensive, like oh, I'm out of ages and an Egatron cloak, not you know go for the death cap or anything. But he's afraid of my team, so uh, that's fine. Going to try to pick up some kills. Actually missing last hits too. He got a single one with Gragas AOE. Yeah, that's, that's, that's strong play, guys. Good job. Um, Terra gonna move on over, and he's gonna go for a ninja cat because he's too afraid to fight. But guess what? We're on to you. Ash showing up from the back, and Terra, your 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 channel stop, bro. What? You kind of wasted some time around the map. You're taking two shots. I don't know what you're doing. Wow, looks like they're going to uh, pursue Tarek here. They will be able to take him out. Shouldn't be able to make it. He pops the ulti, but it's not gonna be enough. He is getting healed for a second, but it is definitely not enough. With Ash and Yandali right on the backside. Looks like they will be able to go. Not even yell. They are gonna take the speed shrine. It looks like Ash is gonna go top though. We'll actually see how that matters, and it does. It'll go a lot faster for uh, the Andalee as she did hit the speed shrine, so you can see how those work. It is Mark taking a lot of damage here as Renekton goes for the ulti, but he goes down. Shun Po down by Cat. Actually, Ash with the volley able to take that one out as they were all doing a good amount of damage. They do have a good hold on this spot, and it's about 45% all the way taken. And we're going to have to be very careful with this one as they are now focusing a lot just for one Ezreal on that windmill. They have to try and juke all this damage. Looks like that will be a, a couple of surviving guys, another couple of javelins to the face. Be pretty good for these guys. And the Andalee going for the uh, for the for the chase right here. Here comes the harassment. And yes, picks that one up. Nice job there. Good teamwork getting that point. Still up three to two and now winning the fight. So uh, yeah, there's a little bit of more damage coming out from Aurelia. <laughs> uh, Brand will fall. We'll get the kill on Sona, but that's fine. Overall, a larger advantage for my team. So I'll take that one. They are ticking down. I gotta yep. say, you are putting a little bit of hurt in here. It was about a 300 point deficit. Now exactly 200 points, and your team is still up. The girls really showing true right now, playing a lot smarter than they were in the beginning. They were kind of spreading out, really grouping up and taking points as a team. Now the guys are not able to stop this as they were the ones who thought they had the upper hand and they're kind of moving around carelessly now. So we need to change up our play on the guys' side here, guys. And uh, really need to pull this one back into our favor. And there's the start of it. A capture up top as Faye tries to get past yeah, but it's going to hit around by a Gregor's Barrel. Uh, 120 to 319, you guys still taking down on the Nexus. Pretty good stuff there. Renekton about to fall, does in fact do so. A little bit of damage coming out, but a nice spear toss coming back from Neanderly. And let's see this brand, this Ezreal. There's the Ezreal doing a lot of damage right there, nearly trying to get away. Haze Shrine does make that Q. Nice shot there by Ezreal. Uh, so they're going to recapture that windmill with a friend and still. Um, the buddy system working pretty well, 113 to 310, still ticking down on your next, bro. I see this, this is happening. Brand trying to pull something up for his team. Ezreal doing a very nice job of holding Ash off. Ash uses the volley for Ezreal instead of Brand, who is capturing the point. She does go down in fashion, and it looks like we will have three points again. That's not good for you guys. Okay. We're still fine. We're <laughs> okay. Make, we're, it's it. Whatever. <laughs> What's going to say? I've been telling you that it's fine the entire time, you just don't believe me. You just keep saying it, I'm like, okay, <laughs> okay, I can count, thanks, I appreciate that. No, I'm glad you can prove to me that you can count, that's appreciated, but... No, I do uh, what I can, I'm, I'm you proud have of you. to. I'm proud of you that you can count. Good, I'm glad, you should be. <laughs> so Colt putting out some damage, but there's an Ash Arrow to the face, hello, you're taking some damage right now. And it's a lot of damage, actually. Uh, although the exhaust was required, Hawkshot on his face, almost dealt some damage right there. Uh, unfortunately, this fell to zero, so... A bit, of a, a bit of a missed opportunity there, but as we're going to go back in for the capture, going to neutralize. And this could be a, um, you know, it's going to be a four versus one capture right now. Only 86 health left on uh, my team's Nexus, but I still believe. <laughs> I still believe there is a chance, and it is all coming from Fate Mata on Katarina, trying to get this capture down on the drill. Can she make it happen? Tark on the backside, looking for the dazzle. Oh, stops it at 90%. Looks like he's going to get a shatter off. Brand also coming in to do some damage. She's still looking for the channel. Very smart, at least to get those points in her favor, because it will stop the amount of points they are taking on their Nexus, but it just does not happen. 2v1 situation makes it almost impossible to cap. And now a 4v1 as they are going to grab the drill again. Action over to the refinery, and Ezreal gets dropped, and looks like they may be able to stop this point and make it a 3 to 2. Anyway, uh, moving on, Neely gonna make that capture a reality. 2 to 3 on the captures right now. Looks like Renekton trying to, to get this one away for the dudes team. That might be the case, however. Uh, Katarina coming by towards the bottom, gonna bring that one back in for the team. Uh, 45 to 295, only neutralized. Mark now afraid. Aurelia <coughs> going in for the damage output, doing a pretty good job of this so far. 
Um, Cat definitely putting out some pain. There's the uh, neutralize right there, and still going for it. Let's see what they can do about this. More pain, more pain, more pain. This is going to look pretty bad pretty soon. Oh. And there's the pickup. <laughs> Good job right there. And now Aurelia going back for this capture, trying to make it a 3 to 2 in our favor. 31 X health left. And it's going to be pretty good. 286 right now. A nice ult from Gragas is going to push us into range. We can do more damage. And uh, it's going to work pretty well so far. Oh, and there comes Ezreal off from the side, doing a lot of pain. And they're going to be just barely okay. Now Tarek taking some shots. Ezreal taking some attacks as well. We keep that defense going. Nice mystic shot does land. And uh, we're up though 3 to 2 and ticking down on that Nexus. Uh, pretty good lead right now for the purple team, but. The ladies on blue are sitting in uh, a pretty good spot right now. They have the majority of the captors, which will cause the points to click, uh, point in deficit against the opposing team. That purple nexus is taking some hits. One hit per second as it is 3-2 to two on the captors, so they're only at one advantage there. Uh, Greg is taking a good amount of damage there. Sona continuing to buff her team here and there as she goes and throws out her abilities. But it is a turnaround there. Gragas falls and Tarek joins the battle. And they are going to turn this one around. Uh, Tarek with his ulti on turning that off, so off as he runs out of mana. Sona falls. Looks like Katarina goes into the ulti and she will get one. But it looks like she will also fall. She gets stunned out of that one. Very well caught by Renekton there to shut down the ulti and save the team a lot of health on that. Two go down for each team. But right now, the guys really need to get a point back here as they continue nope. to lose points. Not going to happen. 31 to 247 still taking down the team defending quite well. Everyone's been pushed back. All the points that have been hurt are regenerating, and everyone's pretty much happy right now. It's going to work pretty well so far. The rally jumping onto Bran, going to do some nice damage with a stun as well. The ult popping off, the, the oh. exhaust has been oh. used. A little bit of damage output coming over there, but still has a good chance. Still jumping onto him. Kismet running over to the health relic needs the assistance of the map in order to win. Still dies anyway. Nice job there by Irelia. And now it's a 2 vs 2. Nice ult from Gragas pushes her into the brush. So he kind of whips that Q pretty hard. And it's a 3. Uh, 3 people down at the bottom left. One person over at the refinery. But it's okay. No one's there. You're free to leave. Um, no one's going to capture that for a while. I'll tell you if they come over there, though. Uh, that's real, though. Going to start Ten farming out some minions. Uh, the Greater Relic is in the middle of the map. Our team could pick that one up. But, oh, uh, Aurelia does go down to Ezreal. Nice shot there. That Mythic shot doesn't make it. But here comes Nomcat. Sona heading on over there. Nice dance going off. A little bit of damage. Getting rid of these minions as best you can. Doing actually some pretty good damage here. Uh, the capture point should be uh, lending aid pretty soon as well. Uh, and there we go. Greater Relic picked up by uh, Katarina. And, and Sona still a uh, force to be reckoned with down here. Bottom lane. A little bit of harassment going off as well. He will try to try to stop his capture as Ezreal just disappeared. He was able to. Uh, Sona was able to start capturing that point. Now 60% on. And wow, he just gets ulted on. And Katarina shreds through him, especially with that Greater Relic from the mid. Bloodstone Tarek able to come up with his as well. So we're going to have a 2v1 Greater Relics now facing off Katarina versus Tarek here. And uh, Tarek's like, I'm going to stay on this side of the house. You guys can have the point. <laughs> yeah, wow, doing such a good job. There's a nice fight right there. Gregor's putting out a lot of burst. Brand doing a lot of damage as well. Looks like that'll be a trade. Uh, no, actually, Gragas stays alive just barely. So a couple of kills picked up for that team. Three alive for the dudes. Two alive for the women team. And let's see if they can do this. They're still up in three capture points, but they're going to start taking some damage here. They're respawning right about now. Let's see if Brand can capture it in time. Ash is heading over. Ash does have the ultimate. You should shoot it at Brand right now. Get him off the point right away. Um, not doing it. You should totally shoot Brand right now. I'm telling you, it'd be a great idea. Um, and there we go. Brand coming in to fight neatly. Uh, however, it uh, looks like Aurelia is there to bring that one back to the team. So it's going to be fine. That's 2-2 two two right now. Still no points lost uh, on my team. Careful there, Neandali. Going to get in there. Nice. Nice gets the kill on to Brand. Doing some good work there. Now the duel on the capture oh, point. Renekton with jump. Aurelia. Very nice bounce uh, from Neandali. Dodging that barrel, and it looks like under the tower, Aurelia able to heal herself and take down the Renekton even after Aldi. And there he just eats a spear to the face, walks him right into that one. And we are going to watch them grab that health relic. Nandalee will go back, and she could actually take that point. I don't know why she didn't. And uh, we will see the 3 to 2 right now, still in favor of your team, and you brought this back to about 160 from uh, 300 deficit before. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's just for the close game. Since about 15 minutes, it has not moved from 31 points. Yep. Too good. Way too good. Just too pro. And there we go. Greg is taking a lot of pain. He's going to go for the body slam, but it's going to put him back into the action. There's a good ult. Going to knock them away. But Nianali's still going for it. There's a javelin toss. Oh, he goes the wrong way. Uh, or the right way for him. And uh, that is going to be a survival. But 162. And now, setting a pressure on your guys' points. That Boneyard taking some damage. Lich Bane, it's time for some damage output. Yeah, Mark, you're getting hurt pretty bad yes, right now. Ignite real. going off as well. Ezreal going for the ninja cap though yes. on the left hand side of the map, but they'll trade either way, that should be okay. This will be 3 2 Cap putting out some nice pain. Uh, probably going to take that one. Oh, it's going to be a great brand ult. It's going to hurt bad. 
Yeah, that's, that's a little bit of pain going on right there, but he's so incredibly low. Oh, he gets a pillar of flame. He actually lands that one, but the minions are too good for him. Kismet about to drop down to minions. And there we go, Sona putting out more pain right there. Gotta try to stay alive. Oh, but that Tarek, he's got some AP. He's gonna do some pain right there. Nice pickup. Uh, still 3-2 to two so far, but it's gonna start turning around. Whew. We're gonna start capturing these points. We gotta stop them. That was a lot uh, of damage, Dancing. Dancing. That was a lot of damage. I like the fact that you let the ladies think they were going to win, and now crush and deny. So we're going to see the guys back here. They're gonna come back, get their points, and my team is going to win. I don't know about that. I do. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see. Leslie's still pushing down onto Colt. Doing some damage there. Ashero just barely whips. Nice try there, but we're gonna bring it back. At least the nullify. Ooh, they will get that one now. They've got to go heal. Ezreal still a little low on health. Oh, pretty and crazy aggression. We'll actually get the kill for it. Nice, nice. trade right there. Wow. And uh, they'll get the capture. Uh, Colt not able to stop that one. And the right-hand side was neutralized. And actually, Neanderly, really going for the pressure here. Mark should get stopped. So, 2-1, to one, my team still winning. That's nice. uh, and Sona actually disrupting as well. So, 25 to 118, still taking down. Neanderly should actually be able to win this fight as well. Doing a lot of damage here to Renekton. Renekton not in a happy place now. Getting chased down by a cat. And, uh, yeah, it's hurting pretty hard. Uh, oh, he's going to jump back into that fight. Do some damage. Oh, Terek is showing up. Will not quite... Um, uh, Neanderly will not be able to pick up that kill. But Ash has taken top. So, guess what? Three to one now the score, um, winning even more so than before. Yeah, I really don't know what my guys were doing there. They left the drill uncaptured. Ornekin went for a fight. He did have somebody come up on him. Hopefully Tarek could have taken that. But if I don't think if he did, he may have died. So, you know, that could have gone either way, the defense or the take. So played well, I guess. And we will see that they still have two. They're still up by about 75 points right now. It'll be 78. And can they come back on this? The lady's doing a very nice job. A 300-point deficit at the beginning of the game. Now 21 minutes into the game, reaching one of its maximum peaks. There is not a maximum end time, but this is about the average of the game. As you can see, it's right down to the nitty-gritty. The music is just mm. alive with the map. It's dynamic. Ezreal going in for the attack, looking to steal health as he is taking down two. Double kill for the one. Neanderly to take He's down this point. Cat. And a 4-1 to one capture to turn the tide of this battle. And now Nidalee going to get this one by herself pretty much for free. Going to turn that into a 3-1 to one right now. Renekton now fighting against two. And that's going to be a pretty much a dead Katarina, but that's okay. It's going to be 3-1 to one as they recapture that one that's been captured by us. Good job, my team. 91-20. to 20. Your, your life is taken away right now, man. I, yeah, I don't just... really know what kind of composure they're using or if they lost their composure or if it's becoming very lax in days Toss a spear, Nidalee. You should stop him from capturing. Don't toss a spear. She doesn't have any left. What? Well, they're javelins, so I guess both of us are wrong anyway. They're going to have a four cap on bottom. There are four people bottom for some reason on the guy's team, and I'm saying she shouldn't do this. No, but that's all right. They could be focused a lot more around the map. Spread yourself out a little bit more. Capture some points. As we said before, you don't have to, you don't have to capture the points consecutively. You can backdoor a point and grab it for yourself. It's going to be quite difficult because as soon as you're there, the team is going to come to you. The score, about 70 point difference right now. The girls still losing the 3-2 to two here. They need to capture this point right now and get a point back in their favor or at least nullify a point. And it looks like it may be quite grim. And the guy's finally coming out on top of this one. Yeah, it looks like it's going to go on 3 one, and that's going to be the Nexus. The dudes Woo! do, in fact, win. Purple team wins a game on the day. Colt, you finally won a game, bro. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Flipping tables. Flipping tables. Uh, good job, Purple team, with the victory. Taking that one down. Colt actually going 25-9. and nine. Pretty good score overall. 1,900 personal score. It's a good play. It's a good play. It was very good. Like, that whole hold for 300 points. It was a three-point hold, and you can see even at a three to two in the lowest amount of ticking score, it still takes 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, it's still nitty-gritty. It's still in your face. There's still a lot of 1v1s. Make sure you're also ready for the 5v5 if it happens at the top point at some point for a quest. But still, like, for 300 points to come out of five minutes on a three-on-two is absolutely amazing, and that was a great hold by the girls' team. Yep, awesome, awesome stuff. So everyone's, yeah, running around, flipping tables, doing random stuff. <laughs> Pretty energetic room, actually, players. Definitely excited coming out of this game. Uh, good for all of them, of course. Uh, I want to take a quick aside, of course, because this was uh, the last game of our day. Um, yeah. So we were at Gamescom. We were talking about that a little bit. Um, current events, as I called it once, and then got made fun of for calling it current events. Um, Dominion actually won uh, Best Online Game from Gaming XP, uh, website Gaming XP. Uh, basically said, hey guys, you know, let's choose, you know, who, what, who's the best, you know, who put on the best show um, at Gamescom? They chose us. Happy to see that. Um, always fun to win awards. Thanks, guys. Um, so always, always good to cool. see that there's um, you know been a positive reaction. Yeah, for sure. So uh, any awesome. any final thoughts, Riv? 
Um, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to see what the community come out with this. You know, our, it's, it's coming out. You can get your hands on it at, at PAX, and then, you know, there will be a lot of controversy and talk on the forums after that. Like, I use this item. I use this. I think this is. But when the people, it really gets released to them, I can't wait to see what kind of game they turn it into. Yep. So those of you who are in the Seattle area who are going to PAX, I believe tickets are sold out, but maybe you can, I don't know, find a way in anyway. Uh, but Dominion will be at PAX. It will be at PAX. You can play it yourselves. And, and you will uh, be at PAX. And I will be at PAX. Indeed. You'll be at MLG. I will. Um, and, uh, you know, hope to see you guys there. Hope to see you guys enjoying the game. And when it goes live, hope to see um, all of you enjoy it as much as we do. Because we think it's awesome, and we hope you do too. Thanks very much for tuning in. Indeed. Have a great day. Yeah. If I want to express myself, I can. New Studio Line Spiky Trash Extreme Gel. If I want to never stop, I can. If I want to be trash, I can. I can. New Studio Line Spiky Trash from L'Oreal Paris.